In this video, we will see how a particle described by the wave function in quantum mechanics, which is an element in Hilbert space. Why do we use Hilbert space in quantum mechanics? And why does quantum mechanics have a probabilistic nature? How can we write this expression as a color matrix? A vector can be represented as an arrow in 2D space. The unit vector i is in the direction of x axis and the unit vector j is in the direction of y axis. This arrow can be written as a color matrix and an expression 6i plus 3j. Take an example electric current has both direction as well as magnitude, but electric current is not a vector quantity, while electric current density is a vector quantity. Is it an arrow? or column matrix or an expression let's find out the answer for what is really is to find the answer to these questions first we discuss linear vector space or vector space first if we add two vectors we can see that they are added to the coordinates by their coordinates scalar components of unit vector i of the first vector is added to the scalar component of unit vector i of the second vector and scalar component of the unit vector j of the first vector is added to the scalar component of the unit vector j of the second vector and same scalar component of the vector k of the first vector is added to the scalar component of the unit vector k of the second vector same if we add two column matrices the scaling of vectors is like their sum if we scale a vector by a scalar, the coordinates of each unit vectors are scaled by the same scalar. Similarly, the scaling of color matrices with the scalar is similar to the scaling of the coordinates of the basis vector by same scalar. Like adding and scaling of vectors, functions also have the same properties. Now consider two functions, f of x and g of x. And adding these functions is similar to adding the x coordinates of these functions. Scaling of the function with the scalar is similar to the scaling of the coordinates of the x axis. Polynomials of all degrees also have similar properties. Addition and scaling are similar to vector addition and the scaling. As a result, the function and polynomials have the same addition and scaling properties as the properties of vectors. If functions, polynomials, arrows, and color matrices are added and scaled in the same way, so are all these vectors. How can we define what things like vectors or vectors are? To do this, let's define the formal definition of vectors. Vectors are the object that can be an arrow or a function or a matrix is, or the wave function or numbers or unit cell or the structures. Vector can be anything if and only if their addition and the scaling are satisfying some axiom. And we discussed the question earlier in our video that electric current has both direction and magnitude but it is not a vector quantity. The electric current density is a vector quantity. The reason for this is that electric current does not follow the rule of addition or commutation rule for addition. A collection of arrows or a collection of color matrices or a function or polynomials creates a space called vector space or linear vector space space or collection formed by arrows called euclidean space where the space formed by functions is called function space where the functions are the vectors in the function space in scaling of vectors the scalar creates a field if scalar are real numbers then vector space is known as real vector space and if numbers are complex number, then space is complex vector space and space for rational numbers is called rational vector space. 
In general, any number of fields can be used in vector spaces. Linear operators An operator is a function over a space of physical states to another space of physical states. If a transformation or operator is applied to a vector space and then the transformation satisfy both of these relations, then the transformation or operator is called a linear operator or a linear transformation. For example, the transformation derivative function is applied to space and we discussed the transformation satisfy both relations. Therefore, the derivative is a linear transformation. Arrows, color matrix, functions, polynomials, wave functions, surface vibrations, etc. These things are following all the axioms we discussed earlier and we can write these things as color matrices. To write these things as color matrices, first learn about dimensions and basis of a vector space. The basis of the vector space We can assume a rectangle or a smiley face or a cube or a polynomial or a wheel, anything. But the main thing is that these objects have to satisfy some axioms. Addition of this rectangle is commutative and scaling just like vectors. A space formed by rectangles in which it is linear combination of four vectors or four rectangles and also behave like a vector of this space. It is a combination of two rectangles and also a vector of the same space and creates a whole space that has a combination of all vector rectangles. Therefore, this rectangle is basis for this space furthermore if we consider x cube x square x and x node that satisfy all axiom then this vector form a vector space containing linear combination of all the vectors therefore 3x cube 2x square 4x and 2 are the vectors of the above space where 3x cube is a linear combination of x cube and 2x square is a linear combination of x square and 4x is the linear combination of x and 2 is the linear combination of x node. It is a also a vector of the same space, so also this and this. Vector space of polynomial in which all vectors are linear combinations of x cube, x square, x, x node. Those that are different and therefore independent and therefore orthonormal are called basis vectors. The basis is a set of vectors in a vector space where the elements of the set are called basis vectors which are orthonormal which means exist independently. In this space arbitrary vectors can be written as linear combinations of basis vectors where A, B, C are scalars or components. The dimension of vector space is equal to number of basis vector. In this space, the basis vector is x. And each vector in this space is combination of x. The number of basis vector is 1, so it is a one dimensional space. Some examples of vector spaces are Where ij are the basis vectors. Take some waves which are represented as wave functions. Can be taken as the basis vectors. Wave functions are linear independent because they have different frequencies or directions. And all their combinations make a complete vector space. And any arbitrary wave or arbitrary vector in this space is linear combination of basis functions or basis vectors. If this space is completely constructed with a set of only 8 vectors, then it is 8 dimensional. In quantum physics, generally a particle defined by a combination of infinite matter waves or we can say infinite basis functions and these combinations are called wave packets and the ratio of combinations of basis vectors always varies with time and space and we can't tell how these combinations are formed 
the only probabilistic explanation we can make and the physics that can describe the inherent uncertain properties of micro world is called quantum physics the wave packet varies with time location and measurement because measurement wave changes the packet formation or we can say a combination of basis functions two dimensional vectors can be written as a column matrix of two elements where the basis vectors are i and j and three dimensional vectors can be written as column matrix of three elements and the basis vectors are i j k and eight dimensional vector can be written as a column matrix of eight elements has a basis vectors and a polynomial of degree n can be written as a column matrix of element n plus one where the basis vectors are the sine functions which creates infinite vector space therefore the column matrix representation of vectors is independent of system of coordinates where the basis can be anything therefore material particle that is described by the wave function is independent of choice of coordinate system wave function is interference of basis functions which are linear combination of basis functions where the basis functions are infinite and give infinite linear combinations of these all are uniquely exist so they are separable and form a dense countable subset so we need a space that has the following properties which is linear and infinite dimensional vector space separable complete and the scalar vectors product that is strictly positive known as Hilbert's vector space therefore in quantum physics the state of particle or a particle is an element or vector in Hilbert's space